All right, in this video, I want to do one more example of finding the x and y intercepts of an equation. So, in the other video, I did the first part. We found the x and y intercepts of, of this function. Uh, now we're going to do the same thing. We'll just find the x and y intercept of this function. y equals x squared minus 3x minus 18. And again, the idea is to find the y intercept, we simply let x equal 0. And we just do the arithmetic. So we would get y equals, well, 0 squared minus 3 times 0 minus 18, which just simplifies to negative 18. So it says the y-intercept is at negative 18, or we can say that 0 comma negative 18 is on the graph. Okay, that would be our y-intercept. Now to find the x-intercept, again, uh, or intercepts, I should say, if there are any, Well, now we substitute in y equals 0, and we simply solve for x. So we have 0, now on the left side, equals x squared minus 3x minus 18. Um, so again, now basically I think, well, I've got a quadratic equation I have to solve. Let's see, hopefully this factors. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 18 but add up to negative 3. I think negative 6 and positive 3 would be two numbers that have the two numbers that have that property. So now we've got it factored, so it says we just set x minus 6 equal to 0, x plus 3 equal to 0. If we solve the first equation, we just add 6. x equals 6 is one of them. Subtract 3, and we'll get x equals negative 3 is our other solution. So now we found our two x-intercepts at the point 6 comma 0 and there's a second x-intercept at negative 3, comma, 0.